Hey everyone, this is Eric Dowds, and I'm back home for, I think, two more weeks until Alaska happens. I don't know if you've seen the previous video where I dove into the details, or the video before that where I just turned 27. It kind of showed what happened last year, but regardless, this should be one of the few remaining episodes that I film actually in my garage. But beyond that, today we're talking about the New York City Pride Parade that happened in 2019, and I actually planned on using this intro. What's up, NYC? This is Jay Cuevas Boxing. Vote with your feet, all right? Vote with your feet. Vote with your feet. But the thing is, I did want to take an extended moment to talk about why vote with your feet is such an important phrase to me. And it's because in this community, legitimately in South Orange, New Jersey, I've been raised that the younger generation has to show up to these celebrations, not for ourselves only, but to represent the elderly, the backbones of our community, and people who might not be able to attend. There might be people who are too ill, stuck in hospital beds, separated by physical location, or maybe feeling persecuted in a way from coming to an event like this that's still very controversial in parts of the world. So I am just really honored that I can show up with my family of all people and join New York Life in their float to start the parade like this. And just a small uh, warning to my viewers, this might be rated PG-13 just because of the nature of uh, the costumes that people chose to wear today. things that initially shocked me and really took my breath away was actually how coordinated the New York Life crew was. I kind of turned around and they were doing coordinated dance moves, they brought umbrellas and that was just kind of awesome to see in terms of like a corporate view. But what also took kind of my breath away were the people who showed up just to cheer on the parade. I'm about to lose my mind, I'm going crazy. Lately I've been feeling every day the same. So I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend that I'm not here Cause I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance Now, for those of you who might not be aware, we started marching right around 1 o'clock and finished closer to 4.30, so that was like three and a half hours of movement, but I've heard the parade goes for eight hours. And one of the kind of spectacular highlights of the entire parade was when we showed up to Flatiron. That's the Flatiron building sits right on 5th Broadway. That's kind of where the intersection and 23rd. And I got the New York Life float passing by, but I also captured these images of some of the other groups and just who showed up overall to the parade. Now, just because this channel is kind of geared towards the type 1 diabetic community, I did want to take a little bit of a short pause to share uh, why these communities can come together. Because, you see, I always felt like I lived with an invisible difference than everyone. When I was diagnosed, kind of one of the initial reactions we always get is, you're not diabetic, you don't look like one. And I bet a lot of people in the LGBTQ community feel that exact way. There's nothing on the outside that physically gives us away, yet inside there is a lot that we deal with. And these same issues I talk about in terms of trying to find others who are dealing with this, new groups, different people who can relate and how powerful that is. I think that's really one of the amazing things of this parade is at least for one day out of the year, this marginalized community, this small group of people can feel celebrated. You can have scores of people lining Broadway, lining every corner of the village and I don't know, 9th Ave just to cheer 
this group of people on and that is what our world needs not only in the LGBTQ community, the type 1 diabetic community, but every kind of group that humans find themselves joining, whether it's voluntary, involuntary, or it's for a family member, a friend, or a loved one. <laughs> So I just wanted to thank every person that was involved in putting on this event. It was absolutely amazing and spectacular just to see. So thank you to the NYPD, to the fire department, EMTs, to event organizers, um, parade volunteers, corporate sponsors to pay for things, and the just everything that actually made this come event come into existence. I know there's definitely a darker past that I'm not fully aware of, but either way I'm just really happy that for at least one afternoon the New York community could rally together and just celebrate the beauties of life. So with that I just want to remind you all that you can do anything and go anywhere no matter what obstacle or burden you're faced with in life. Thanks. I can pick you up.